each of us has or had a hard drive, SSD drive, or even a USB stick. And then the question arose, how to check the speed of those drives? This is exactly what we will talk about today. Indeed, I will do it, and to make this video more interesting, I will compare USB 3.0 flash drive, SanDisk, original, with a cheap flash drive from AliExpress, just for the sake of curiosity. So, let's get it started. And here we go. First of all, we need to open our browser. For example, I will use Google Chrome browser. Then you need to type next, crystal disk mark and press enter and here it is crystal disk mark as you can see crystal disk mark is an open source disk drive benchmark tool for microsoft windows actually it is easy to download this utility we need to navigate to the official website here it is crystal disk mark info so just click on it if we scroll down a little bit, you may notice some interesting things like that we're going to use standard edition version. Scrolling down, you may see some anime version. And here we can even read system requirements. As you can see, it supports Windows XP, Vista 7, 8, 8.1, 10. Windows 11 and even though it supports Windows servers. On average it will work on most modern laptops and even on older operating systems. However, you may see that it doesn't support Windows XP 2003 and doesn't support Windows 95, 98 and some older OS. It's not a surprise for me, so let's scroll back. Today we're going to take a close look only on Crystal Disk Mark, but also there is cool utility, Crystal Disk Info, but let's download Crystal Disk Mark, so click on it. After a few seconds, the downloading process will begin, and now we just need to save it. For example, I will save it on my desktop, click on save, now we can run it, just click on it, accept all terms and conditions, click next. Select next, one more time on next. I will check this option, create a desktop shortcut. And last time, let's click on install. Wait a few seconds, now we can close the browser, click on finish and it will automatically launch our utility. Click finish. First of all, I want to mention that I'm using Dell Precision 5440 laptop. It support only SSD M2 drive of third generation. However, you could install M2 drive of fourth generation, but it doesn't mean that it will support speed of fourth generation. For example, if you bought a USB 3.0 flash drive, but your laptop has only USB 2.0 ports, that means it will work as a normal USB 2.0 flash drive. If you are a beginner, it's not necessary to tweak any of this option. The only option you can tweak is here. And that's because you need to select your SSD drive. So at the moment, I have only SSD drive. I did not install any flash drive. So we can leave everything by default. But if you want to select your flash drive, you just need to click here and choose your flash drive. So at the moment, I'm selecting C drive. Indeed, this is M2 drive. And now we just need to click on all and then it will run the test. During the test, please be patient, take your time and don't open any utilities. It's very important. The test is almost finished and I want to mention that it's totally normal when you see the highest results on the top and the lowest on the bottom. That's okay. Mission accomplished. Now you may see the speed of my M2 drive. I recommend to pay attention on these numbers. As you can see, we have 2,752. And for writing, we have 1,555. So let's move forward. If you want to check the speed of your flash drive, you can also use this utility. For example, I have an original flash drive SanDisk. And right now I will insert it into the laptop. I successfully inserted this USB drive. To make it work properly, we should close this utility and open one more time. Click on yes. Good. 
click here and voila our flash drive appear yes this is my flash drive it has 32 gigabytes of space even though if you see less space that's totally normal for every hdd ssd or a flash drive so i want to check speed of my flash drive i will select it click here and of course wait As you can see, this flash drive reached 152 megabytes per second. And if we're talking about writing, it reached only 20.51 megabytes. And completely to be honest, it's not that fast because this result is disappointing me. So let's try to insert one more flash drive, which I bought from the AliExpress website and I paid for it less than $10. But firstly, I will safely remove my flash drive Drive. So I will click here and now we can remove the flash drive, close the utility. Literally, this is not Kingston, this is not SanDisk, it's actually no name, but believe it, it is much faster than the SanDisk. And one more time, I want to remind you that I paid for it less than $10. So let's clarify, click here and be sure to select your flash drive. This time it's showing 32 gigabytes, click here. Select all. Now let's wait until test will finish. That's hilarious. Just look at this. For reading, we have almost the similar speed, but if we're talking about writing, it's just destroying SanDisk flash drive because it has 136 megabytes. Definitely, sometimes even a cheap flash drive from AliExpress can be faster than SanDisk flash drive. Of course, I want to notice that I have not the fastest SanDisk flash drive, but indeed it is original. It is USB 3.0. That is, you can use this free utility, Crystal Disk Mark, to check speed for reading and writing of your hard drive, SSD drive, or even a flash drive. One more time, I want to remind you, if you want to check the correct speed, first of all, be sure that your USB 3.0 port work properly. You installed all drivers for chipset for USB 3.0 port. And if you have laptop or PC, just be sure that your motherboard support speed of your M2 drive or HDD drive. Because if you have quite old motherboard, there is high probability that you will not get the maximum speed from your HDD, SSD, or even a flash drive. My conclusions. With the help of this utility, Crystal Disk Mark, you can easily check the speed of your drives, whether it is a hard drive, SSD drive, or even a USB stick. If this video was helpful for you, please like it and I recommend watching this video on how to install Windows 11 on an unsupported laptop or PC.